How long do you think it would take, Mark, for Elizabeth I to get totally queened up then, start to finish? Oh, gosh, well, she's not in a rush, so I would imagine probably about two hours, because, of course, it's not just, just the clothes, it's the jewellery, the makeup, the wig, the entire ensemble to be the queen. It's about two hours. And here I am in my, uh, my satin-coloured body, that's yes. his name, isn't it? A pair it? of bodies. Even a pair of bodies. Guy. And it's covered in fine fabric because, of course, it's the queen's. It's an awfully long and sort of narrow shape. They're not at all like Victorian stays that give you a lovely waist. No, or indeed a lovely cleavage. It's a <laughs> different look. <laughs> and what's next, bum roll? Exactly. You're the queen, it's covered in silk velvet. Velvet. It's like a massive travel pillow, isn't it? <laughs> a giant could sleep like this on the aeroplane. No neck ache in that, but bring it down. And unlike a Victorian one, which would rest right down to the corset, this just in the middle. And we're looking for a, a cone shape. And this is exactly what these garments achieve. It makes you more and more like an insect, the bizarre shape of the late Elizabethan and Jacobean age. There we are. And what's the point of the bum roll? It seems to be that the more space you have, the richer you are. So you're making so much space here, no one can get close to you. You're going to have to walk very slowly anyway, because no gentleman or lady would hurry. Servants do that. So now I've got my soft hips. I can bump into things if it's late at night. What comes next? Is it the hoops? It is. The, the farthingale. Now, these um, shapes are made of osier, the same way they would use for barrels, these big circles of wood. So this is wood inside, wood inside. here, big round wooden inside the circles. That's right. Over your head. Does it do up at the back or at the front? At the front? It's got to nestle just on top of the bum pad and go all the way down to give you that shape, taking up even more space. Of course, it's quite improper that a gentleman should be dressing you, or even a man like myself. Of course, it's an immensely titillating sight for you, isn't it? It certainly is. I'm doing my best to control myself. How do you feel? I feel rather queenly. <laughs> now, the petticoat, Lucy, and this is beautiful. This is the forepart, and it's white and gold, as you see. And the back is of silk. It's not as good as the front, but it's still pretty good. But no one sees it except the ladies who are dressing you. Only I know that I have a silken bottom. Indeed. OK, all right. Now, Lucy, turn around, give us a twirl. Does my bum look big in this? <laughs> and let's imprison those Wandering hands of yours in miles and miles of velvet. Hang on to your cuffs, because this is jolly heavy. Oh, there we are. Are you in? Let's see. Now, how's that feel? Very cosy. It's good on you, colour-wise. Impossible, most of these dresses, for people to get into themselves. And now for your so-called cartwheel ruff, Your Majesty. Oops. Forgive my trembling hands. You know, it really works, all of this gear, because I do actually feel extremely queen-like now. And you look it too. Queen of hearts. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Behead that man and give that lady a peerage. Very good, madam. <laughs> you look all lovely.